Welcome my sweet little gumdrops. You may be wondering, why on earth is she saying the tigress is the worst weapon in the game? And I'll explain. I have no problems with the tigress at all. It has 100% status. <coughs> Easily the most damaging weapon in the game, and a 2 year old could mod it and deal damage. Now, I'm fully ready for the repercussions this video has to offer. And if you've looked at the title, I know you're writing an angry comment before you even click this video. And odds are, all you Tigress mains are flaming as hell. Well let me actually tell you why the Tigress is the worst gun in Warframe. Let's start off with the style of Warframe, and that's mob killing. No matter what you say this game is based off of killing as many enemies as possible. Now this is where people argue back and say, well the Tigress can kill bunched up enemies. And I honestly can't argue about that. But the matter of the fact is, getting enemies to sit still long enough, let alone clumped up, makes this gun useless. I find myself missing more often than not. I know that my comments are going to be loaded with forum warriors, saying how this gun is god tier, and that they use it every day, yada yada. I'm here to say one thing, good for you. You don't need to explain to me how a weapon works. I'm fully aware that it's a shotgun. I'm fully aware it's a duplex style magazine. I'm also aware you can mod the gun to have 4 shots. But what I'm also aware of, is the fact that it's slow as molasses. This brings us to the reload. It's immensely slow. And I already know what you're going to say. You can mod for reload speed. Yes. But why would I do that? But why? Why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? Why should I have to do that is the better question. Why do we have weapons so inherently slow? that we should have to mod for such a simple thing as reloading. So now that we've covered reload speed, let's actually go over the magazine itself. A duplex style. I know loads of you noobs will be utterly confused in what that means. Basically you can click once to fire both shots from the barrel, or click and hold to shoot one, then release to fire the second shot. A lot of people will say, well what's wrong with that? Nothing on paper, but in a game like Warframe, it's garbage. Examples of guns that do what the Tigress does could be, Track Goon, Heck, Zyre, although that one is questionable, and Boar, just to name a few. Now you might be asking me, why am I even talking about this? I don't even use shotguns. That's a good question. It's because in a lot of situations I've seen veterans telling new players to go for the Tigress right away, because it's this god tier weapon, when instead they should just be telling the truth, that melee is king. <coughs> the Tigress may deal more damage on paper, but in reality it's slow, clunky, and borderline unusable in extremely fast situations. Someone with a Tigress won't even be able to keep up with someone using an Ignis, Amprex, or even Soma Prime. I'm sure most of you have readied your aggressive comments, telling me how many things I missed. Well that's okay, you go right ahead and comment. Hell, most of you probably didn't even make it to this point in the video, before just getting triggered and clicking away to go watch Tigress Port. I mean, actual content. This brings me to my final statement of the gun. Is it bad? No. Is it a reliable source of damage? Yes. But it's just not in tune with how Warframe is. The same problem goes for snipers and bows, but I won't go over that. Peace out my little ammo drums.